Hey there, I'm Toby. Mrs. Jane created me with AI, and guess what? I can talk. This video, she's gonna show you exactly how she made me all for free. But before that, watch this. Max, you're here, boy. I was just about to come get you. Toby had just finished breakfast when he heard a familiar bark outside. His best friend, Max, was waiting for him, tail lagging and eyes full of joy. Every morning, they played together in the field. Toby would throw the red ball and Max would chase it with all his heart. It was their favorite game. Pretty cool, right? I created that entire animation using free AI tools and trust me, it's easier than you think. From writing the story, to animating the scenes, and even making the characters talk all for free. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through exactly how I did it. All right, let's get started. The first thing we need is a story prompt, something simple that will form the base of our animation. And to do that, we're going to use one of my favorite AI tools, ChatGPT. You can use any text-based AI like Google Gemini or Claude, but for today's video, we'll be using ChatGPT. So I'll just head over to ChatGPT and type in this simple prompt. Write a short emotional kid story about a boy named Toby and his dog Max. The story should have three, four short scenes that show their friendship like when they play together, hide from the rain, and rest after playing. Each scene should include an image generation prompt I can use to create 3D animated images of the boy and the dog with consistent faces and style. That's it. It's short, clear, and gives ChatGPT everything it needs to create a story and the prompts for each animation scene. So, ChatGPT has generated our story, along with image prompts for each scene pretty cool, right? Now we're going to copy the image prompts one by one starting from the first scene. The next step is to generate our images using those prompts. To do that, we'll be using an amazing free tool called Google AI Studio. Just open your Chrome browser and search for Google AI Studio. Once you're there, sign in with your Google account. After signing in, scroll down until you see Nano Banana under the What's New session, click on that. When the page opens, paste the first image prompt that ChatGPT created for us. Google AI Studio will instantly generate a beautiful AI image based on that prompt. Now that we've generated our first image of the boy that's going to serve as our reference image for the rest of the scenes. Next, let's generate the image of the dog. To do that, we'll copy our second image, prompt the one that involves both the boy and the dog and paste it into Google AI Studio. Once you've pasted it, go ahead and click on the yellow arrow button to generate. As you can see, the AI maintained the same look for the boy and added the dog, which is perfect for visual consistency. Now, for our third image, we're going to take it one step further. Before pasting your third prompt, Type something like using the previously uploaded images and then paste your third image prompt right after that. This tells the AI to keep using the same characters so your boy and dog will look exactly the same across all the scenes, just like you saw in the example animation earlier. After generating the third image, you'll notice that the environment has changed. Maybe it's a new location or background, but the characters still look exactly the same. That's because the AI automatically maintained the same boy and dog we used in the previous scenes. Now, go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of your images. Remember, always include the phrase, using the previously uploaded images before pasting your next prompt. This helps the AI tool understand that we're still working with the same characters, so it keeps their faces and style consistent across every scene. But if your story includes new or different characters, then there's no need to say that. Just describe the new characters normally, and the AI will create them based on your description. Think of it like chatting with a smart, creative assistant. The clearer your instructions, the better your images will look. Once you've generated all your images and they're ready, the next step is to animate them, and we're going to do that using a free AI tool called Grok. You can either download the Grok app from your Play Store or use the web version if you prefer. 
Personally, I like using the app because it's smoother and faster for me. So, go ahead download Grok, sign in. Now tap on Imagine here, you'll see an image icon. Click on it to upload the first image you want to animate. Once the image uploads, tap on, make video, and wait for Grok to generate the animation. This is the easiest way to bring your still image to life, no animation prompt needed. As you can see, it perfectly animated my picture, just the way I imagined it. When you're happy with the result, click the downward arrow icon to download your video. For me, I'm really satisfied with how this turned out it captured exactly what I wanted, the boy opening the door. Now, we're going to upload the second image, but this time we'll be adding an animation prompt. This helps guide the AI to generate exactly what we want even though Grok already does a great job on its own. If you have something specific in mind, like a movement or mood, this is where you describe it. To do that, tap on the image icon to upload your picture, then type or paste your animation prompt. And if you're not sure what to write, you can always ask ChatGPT to create one for you based on your story. Once you're done, click generate and wait a few seconds it usually takes less than a minute just look at this result it perfectly followed our prompt the raindrop started falling and the boy looked up exactly as i imagined and the best part it did all that for free let's take this a step further this time we're going to upload another image but now we need our character to talk just like before click on the image icon and upload your image then, tap the drop-down menu and select Custom. Here, type something like, make the boy say this, followed by whatever you want the boy to say. This part is really important if you don't specify who should speak. Both characters might end up talking or saying the wrong lines. Once you're done, click Generate and wait for the result. Max! You're here, boy! I was just about to come get you! And the boy spoke perfectly and clearly. This is honestly amazing, especially for a free AI tool. So now, you can go ahead and use this same method to animate all the remaining images you created. Remember, you can make each scene come to life in different ways, maybe one where the characters talk, another where they just move naturally, or even one where you customize their actions completely. I'm showing you different methods, so you can mix things up and decide what works best for your story. It's really all about creativity, experiment with different prompts, try various movements, and just have fun with it. Once you're done animating all your scenes, we'll move on to the next step, where I'll show you how to combine everything into one smooth, beautiful video. Now that we've finished animating all our scenes, the next step is to generate the audio for our story. You can either record your own voiceover or use AI voice generation tools to do it for you. For this tutorial, we'll be using Google AI Studio. Just open your Chrome browser and search for it. Once you're in, make sure to sign in to your account. Then scroll down under the What's New section and look for Generate Native Speech with Gemini. Tap on it. When the dashboard opens, click the three horizontal lines at the top and select Single Speaker. Below that, you'll see voice settings. Go ahead and listen to the different voice options and choose the one that best fits your story. Next, go back to the dashboard, you'll see a text box. Paste in your story text, the one chat GPT generated for us earlier. Above the box, you'll see style instructions. This is where you describe how you want the narration to sound maybe calm, friendly, or emotional. It all depends on the tone of your story. Once you're done, click Generate and wait a few seconds for your audio to be created. When it's ready, play it back to make sure it sounds exactly how you want. If you're happy with it, click the three dots beside the audio file and choose Download to save it to your phone. And that's it, your voiceover is ready. Now, since we already have our images, animations, and story audio, the next step is optional but highly recommended. Let's add some background music. You can download copyright-free music from the YouTube audio library or use a free site like Pixabay. On Pixabay, go to the music section, 
Search for the type of mood you want like calm, inspiring, or cinematic and download your favorite track by tapping the download arrow. Once your music is ready, we can move on to the final part, editing everything together and adding the finishing touches. So head over to CapCut app and import all the clips you generated. Then go ahead and adjust your clips. You can also reduce the volume or remove the sound because most of these AI clips we generated, the AI tool added some sounds that we don't really want, apart from the clips where our characters were talking. I'm going to remove the volume or reduce the volume of the other ones that don't need sound. After trimming out the parts you don't want and removing the volume, go ahead and click on audio. We're going to add our music. That's the background music. Then tap on the music and click on fade. We're going to fade it in so the music won't be too loud. You can also reduce the volume of the music a little. Just do the necessary adjustments, be creative. Next, we're going to import the voiceover of the story and place it exactly where we want the story to begin. So our character will first talk before the story starts. That's why I'm adjusting it like this. You can also adjust the speed, just find your way around this whole thing until it looks smooth. Now I'm going to add captions, this will make our video look nicer and help viewers follow the story better. To do that, click on text, then select auto captions. From the templates, you can choose any style you like, just go through the available ones, or you can leave it on the default mode. Now go ahead and generate it. You can see our auto captions have been added so whatever our character is saying or whatever the story is, you'll see it clearly on the screen. You can go ahead and edit it by adding any font of your choice. You can also browse through different templates and pick the one that fits your video best. As you can see, while our story is playing in the background, the text or captions appear beautifully on screen. Once you're okay with everything, set your video resolution to 1080p, then click export to save your final video. And here's the outcome of our video. Max! You're here, boy! I was just about to come get you! Toby had just finished breakfast when he heard a familiar bark outside. His best friend, Max, was waiting for him, tail lagging and eyes full of joy. Every morning, they played together in the field. Toby would throw the red ball, and Max would chase it with all his heart. It was their favorite game. Then the clouds gathered, the rain poured suddenly, and they ran for cover under a big tree. Toby gently patted Max's head and hugged him close while they waited for the storm to pass. When the rain stopped, they walked home together, soaked but smiling. For Toby, every day with Max was a new adventure. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell because I'll be dropping more powerful AI video tutorials you don't want to miss. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.